most every single prepper forgets the most important prep. What am I talking about? Well, you know, when we talk about preparedness, when we talk about the first steps of preparedness, especially if you're going to be relocating, one of the most important things we talk about is the area study that they should do before they move, right? Common sense. I have nothing I can argue about that mindset. That's exactly what people should be doing. But I think that there are large uh, subjects, if you will, that are being overlooked when it comes to those area studies. And I would say some of the most important things about those areas are actually being overlooked. And why? Well, because people aren't told that they need to be looking for these things. And why is people not told this? Well, because a lot of individuals right now, in fact, we've got probably the, the largest rise in the preparedness community right now uh, that the world has ever seen. And uh, why do you think you have so many uh, social media influencers in the preparedness arena? Okay. Well, right now, uh, there's some some things coming together that makes this particular time very profitable uh, for individuals that are in the industry. Well, what do I mean? Go over to Facebook and take a look at the EcoFlow groups. I'm serious. Go look at the EcoFlow groups and you will see real quick the difference in between people buying stuff to look cool and people buying stuff because they want to be prepared. Well, the preparedness community has much of the same. There are a lot of people competing or competing, I'm sorry, competing against who has the nicer weapons systems and who does this and who has that. And, and it's a big competition, right? I don't understand it, but that's because I never did understand the whole rat race, keeping up with the Joneses. I never understood any of that. And the reason why is because I, you know, <laughs> I value myself. I don't need to continually try to be somebody else or try to have what somebody else has to be content. I am content. I am content. I don't need to covet all kinds of stuff. I don't need any of that. But back more to the subject at hand, what is it that that so many preppers are missing. And this just isn't about relocation. This could be about your particular area you are in right now. And the best example that I could possibly use is my own. I started thinking about preparedness a long, long time ago. And I didn't approach it at the same uh, mindset or with the same mindset of, of many today. Many today, they turn on YouTube. That's where they get their preparedness advice. That's a mistake. Because what you have on YouTube is a group of people that just keep passing the same information around in a circle. It's an echo chamber. YouTube preppers are nothing but an echo chamber. And it's no different than a Republican echo chamber or a Democrat echo chamber. It's no difference. And why do I say there's no difference? Well, because if you listen to red, red team or blue team, you'll never fix anything because that's not the goal. It's not the goal to fix stuff. The goal is to keep people divided. The goal is to keep people demanding that others have to sacrifice or give up something. Because that's largely what happens these days anyway in, in politics. It's not about, <laughs> it's not been about freedom for a long damn time. It's not been about doing what's right for a long damn time. It's not about any of that. It's about forcing the others to bend to your will by using law. That is today's politics. But again... Moving back more to the point, 
people don't look at the infrastructure. And why do people not look at the infrastructure? Because they don't plan on using it. Because all the prepper channels, everywhere they've heard anything about preparedness, has never said anything about recovery, about rebuilding. All they talk about is basically selfishness <laughs> and weapons. That's it. And there's a whole lot more to the picture than that. And in fact, a lot of people could say themselves a lot of grief, a lot of heartache, a lot of trouble. Just by waking up. Because if you're following the YouTube prepper channels, you're not awake yet. And that's not your fault. And a lot of people may argue that, oh no, I'm awake. Look, if you don't know something, you likely don't realize that you don't know it. As I've said it a million times, it's not what you know that will kill you. It's what you don't know that will kill you. So maybe it's time that people slow down a little bit, clicking that add to cart button, and open their ears. That's why I'm frustrated. Because you've got people doing nothing but profiteering off the prepper spear, if you will. And they don't give two shits about people. Listen to them. Baron Dependent talks about how, you know, if something would break out, let's say I'm hypothetical here, you know, something would break out at the Oklahoma State Capitol, right? Riot, riots, what have you. Um, you know, he wouldn't go. Right? He's going to stay there and take care of his and blah, 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 blah. He has stated beyond a doubt that he gives two shits about anybody outside of his tribe. Now, you would think that that would wake up some minds, but it's not enough to do that, apparently. It's not. Not one time. And he, he, he claims to have all this, this uh, experience working with power and stuff like that, well, then where the fuck are your plans, homie? Mr. Morris, where the fuck are your plans to get power back going? Since you know that so well, where's your plans to get power back going for people? Oh, you don't have any? Why? Because you're fucking fake, Bear. You're fucking fake. Not one of you and I'm speaking to the prepper channels on YouTube. Not one of you has covered jack shit about actually helping people. All you cover is how you help yourself. That's it. And if you think that the way to prosperity, if you think that the way to a strong nation is by being selfish and doing nothing but helping yourself, you are so far mentally gone you are unteachable. Because that is not how you build strength. You don't build strength by becoming a warlord. You don't build strength by becoming the man on the hill. You don't. You build strength by building up those around you. That's how you build strength. That's the only way that you can build strength. When I asked myself the question, where do I want to be when shit goes sideways? I put a lot of thought in it. And I looked over every single state in the nation. And I kept getting pulled back here. Why? Why did I keep getting pulled back to Highland, Illinois, above any and all other places in the country? Infrastructure. Infrastructure. 
We have a lake outside of town. That's where we get our water from. We have a water treatment plant right there at the lake. Um, on the other end of town, on the other side of town, we've got our own sewage treatment plant. We've got our own power plant. How many little towns can say that? We can actually produce 100% of our own power. We don't need Ameren. We can produce our own power. Now, I know that system was updated some years ago. Uh, I only know the old system because when I was in junior high, we had this thing where you could be something for the day. You know, you could be a cop for the day, the mayor for the day, whatever. And being the geek I am, I, uh, I ran for uh, being, uh, I forget the title, but the power plant. Being the power plant guy for the day, right? And uh, that's when I met my, my first girlfriend's dad. <laughs> of course, I didn't know at the time. But, uh, you know, I spent the day with him at the power plant. He taught me a lot. I loved every single second of it. That system has since been updated, and I don't know anything about the new system. I don't know if it's if it runs off of natural gas. I don't know if it runs off of diesel. I, I don't even know what powers the new power plant that they put in. But that power plant was one of the biggest reasons why I chose to stick at home. We got an AM radio station just outside of town. Now, the FCC has pulled the license um, because of the individual that uh, was, was running the radio station got involved in a bunch of trouble. Um, and uh, I think he was uh, something to do with supremacy, maybe white supremacy and stuff. And I'm, I'm not saying that because it's the fad thing for the left to say. No, this is the real deal. Um, so uh, they they took his broadcast licenses away, and ever since then, to my knowledge, that radio station has been dormant. Uh, but it's there, right? It's still got the antenna. It's still got the tower. I'm sure that the transmitters are still there. I would imagine that enough is still there to be able to put it back into operation. That's important, you know. Communication. So we have got all these things involving our infrastructure right here in Highland that can be brought back up online to serve the community. But you have to have people that have the motivation, the will, and the forethought to do so. How many YouTube prepper channels have you heard about figuring out what they need to do to get water pumped up to the water tower so that the community can have water? How many? You know, I just talked about one of the reasons why I liked Angry Americans uh, going home or survi survivalist series was because of the amount of, of rebuilding that was done. Well, it wasn't real damn long in those books before they were putting up containment systems, right? I don't remember exactly if they were IB, like IBC totes or exactly what they were, but they were putting up containment systems to hold water so they could have water at some of their, their residences. Water, running water. That is them building infrastructure. That is them working on the infrastructure. Why do none of the preppers, or I'm speaking of content creators, the ones that are supposed to be leading you, how come they've never said a word about this kind of stuff? Because let me tell you something. Outside the YouTube prepper sphere, I've told you about a couple of forums that I've been a member of for, gosh, forever. And they're preparedness forums, and they have locked the doors. They don't want, they don't want folks in there. You know why? Because 
they've got YouTube too. And they know just how far out of touch and out of minds these people are. Folks, when it comes to the prepping mindset, you need to understand that the YouTube prepper content creators are in a different world. They are in a different world. And essentially, what they're teaching you is about the only thing you can do is just click add to cart or follow their instructions on what, but, but nothing about going above and beyond. There is nothing extraordinary about any of those individuals. Nothing. I think I figured out why the YouTube algorithm pushes their content. Because they're not telling you nothing. They're not really helping you. Because if you approach it at the mindset that it's just me, 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 or mine, 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 you're going to lose it all. And probably your life along with it. I'm telling you, if you approach prepping with the mindset of the YouTube content creators, not going to make it far. Not going to make it far. I have never seen in my life such a selfish, self-centered mindset. And the crazy part is going to be, like I've said many times before, when when they when they run out of their own supplies and need to go seek more, they're going to expect people that struggle through everything to just hand over shit to them. I'm telling you, that's not going to end well. But why don't you have, I've got it pulled up on the screen here, you know, according to the prepared, I guess that's a publication. There are roughly 15 million Americans who are actively preparing. This is about 10% of all households, up from 2 to 3% a few years ago. Well, the problem is it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because if there's no plans to rebuild, if there's no plans to recover, Chances are those 10% of people that had enough forethought to at least start putting stuff back, they're not going to make it. Because without having any kind of support coming from anywhere, you are eventually going to run out of supplies, you're eventually going to run out of food, and eventually you're going to run out of luck. That's why it is imperative that somebody in your group, if you're in a group, that somebody acts like a mature adult, stop being a lazy, entitled, whatever, and step up and start coming up with plans on how you're going to get stuff back online. Water treatment plans, sewage treatment plans, um, you name it. Because there are ways to do it. And believe it or not, it's really not that bad. It's not that hard. It's not. It's not. You most certainly have to have equipment to be able to do so. Look, folks, I had this stuff figured out over a decade ago. Put together a team of people over a decade ago that had the equipment, the tools, and the know-how to get the infrastructure back online. Not waiting for the fucking city to do with it because they're so fucking stupid. It'd be amazing. They couldn't read instructions if you put them. It, they're fucking ignorant. They're ignorant. They're so ignorant. 
the 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 leadership in this town so fucking ignorant they built a new police department with a new communications and all that all that and then what did they turn around and do oh gave communications over to the county and you know what they're going to do next oh they're getting rid of our ambulance service that's what they're going to do next that's what our town's leadership is doing right now do you think that i can depend on them cocksuckers to get that stuff back going no i can't nor should i wait why because i am willing and capable which means i should step forward i should see the need and i should take care of the need not focus inward on my little group of people that aren't going to make it anyway I don't know what to tell folks, but there is a lot of bullshit going on when it comes to the YouTube prepper community. Real quick, let me tell you my thoughts on this movie. I don't know that I'll be doing the news anymore, so I'm going to be real straight with you. Don't plan on there being more content this may be the very last video that i ever produce but i do want to talk about that because it's concerning and quite frank frankly confusing the movie leave the world behind i'm sure you probably most of you have probably heard about it. it's produced by michelle and barack obama which is the only reason why i watched it because I was looking for cues. I was looking for something they were trying to tell us. And <clears throat> when I looked through, uh, you know, I, I've got a post-it note over here and I, I on that post-it note, I've got, uh, let me bring it up here because if I turn away, you can't hear me very well. I've got um, prepper channels will not discuss the important things. Uh, let me the important most important things because they are going to be looking at what society has brainwashed them to and that's exactly the point right you don't see the hollywood movies teaching you about uh recovery by getting out there taking the initiative and having the motivation to get the infrastructure back up why isn't it in the prepping or in the in hollywood because hollywood's not real yo and you YouTube prepper content creators really need to turn off the fucking TV. And that includes you, Dudley, with fucking Fight Club. Jesus. Where the hell do you people get your mindsets from? Did it come in a, in a fucking Cracker Jack box? Was it in with the fucking box of cereal? What the fuck is the matter with you? Jeez, fight club, fight club, you gotta fight club, fight club. Fucking stop being a fucking idiot. Jeez. You people need to grow the fuck up. You're supposed to be preppers. You're supposed to be a group of people that know what to do and they can't. You don't even know how to fucking get water pumped back up in your water tower. You aren't shit. Anyway, back to the movie. You, you're not told what you should be doing because they don't want you to know what you should be doing. So, in this movie, um, there are several concerning things on different levels. I mean, even on a level that I don't even want to talk about, but it needs to be brought up because it was so blaringly obvious and it needs to be said. And I really, really don't like to be the guy to talk about it, but whatever. If I would have stopped short anytime I didn't want to do something, I wouldn't have gotten anywhere in life. So, and to be honest, these days I don't, feel like I am anywhere in life. I can't even fucking come up with 20 bucks to save a website. 
So anyway, there were some things that had happened uh, that was perplexing to me. One of them was the teeth. Now, I ain't got to worry about this because <laughs> mine are already rotted out of my head. But there comes a moment to where one of the characters in the movie starts to lose his teeth. Now, mind you, he's the only one. Thought that was kind of strange. Nobody else lost their teeth, but this kid did. And there was no really indicator of why this kid lost his teeth other than there were nuclear uh, devices that went off. Um, they made that clear. Uh, and as far as I know, that is one of the things that can happen um, if, uh, if you have radiation poisoning. I think you can lose your teeth. Um, but again, he was the only one. And there were none of the other signs that come before that because you don't, that's not the first thing that happens. You're losing your teeth. No, you'll start losing your hair. You'll start uh, getting sores on your skin and, and whatnot. Um, there are other things that will happen before your teeth fall out. Um, so was that just a lack of research on the writers? Don't know. Was that supposed to tell us something? Don't know. So that's one of the things that bothers me about it. The other thing that bothers me about it is the deer. What the hell was up with that scene? Where did that come from? How come all of a sudden, all the deer in the area became focused on those two individuals? That is just odd. And I know, I know, it's a movie, Mike. I know. But when you have content being put out there by people that have proven to do anything they can to influence our culture, you might want to pay a little close attention to it. And the other thing that I wanted to bring up, and this was just really bothersome for me, is there are two young girls in the movie and they had chose the right clothing well, i say the right clothing i don't mean it necessarily right as in morally right they had chose the right clothing the right camera angles and everything else to show you that both these young girls probably need to start wearing a bra and that's the best way that I can put it. They probably start need to wear a bra. But clearly wasn't. I'm not good with that. I am not good with that. Our society will fail because there's not enough good people with enough motivation to do the hard things that need to be done. But they'll get on, you got plenty of people that get on YouTube, barely know how to fucking hit the record button. And they're gonna tell you how to survive the alpaca lips. When they can't even take the fucking time to learn how to edit a video, or they can't spend the money on a, on a, decent microphone system. It's insane. Absolutely insane. And to think about all that I have dumped in to the Watchman News. And they can't be bothered with learning something. I can't compete with that. Can't compete with that. And I'm not going to.
Lots of people are going to stumble from the bad advice that they've been given. May God have mercy on those that gave it to him. Or not. I kind of prefer not. But it's God's choice and God's will. And, well, to be quite frank, I am much more of an asshole than he is. Remember, I'm the guy with the fuck it, let him die attitude. And those aren't just words. Those aren't just words. People don't want to try to be a help. Fuck it, let him die. When those preppers come up out of their hidey hole because they've ate their last cracker and now they want you to help them, fuck them, let them die.